Okay, this is for Neil in Boston, who wanted to know how it is... <coughs> pardon me. Uh, you make changes to things like meta tags, if you want to put a meta tag on your site. Well, first of all, Neil, let me tell you something. It appears to me that meta tags aren't much use. Um, that's what they say. There's a big argument about it. A lot of search engines don't use them. Uh, in particular, Google doesn't really use them, apparently. But look, you should research that to find out. And uh, pretty well everybody uses Google these days. I don't know why, but, but um, perhaps because it's easy and it seems to be pretty accurate. But bloody hell, it's hard to get your site up, I can tell you. It's a lot of mucking around, but eventually you do, apparently. Uh, OK, this is how you do it. Now, um, first of all, you're going to need a program. This is a really good program called M Mass Replace It. Look it up on Google and you'll find it. It's free. I'm pretty sure it's free. And when you open it, it opens with this window. OK, now I'm going to go through what's involved in the window. And I've also copied off a site uh, a whole bunch of different meta tags. Uh, but you can use it for anything. All it does is it, it's like a find and replace for any form of file and it allows you to do any of that that you can set it up as a particular uh, set of find and replaces you can have a number on a whole bunch of files and I would say that it is an essential component of um, website publishing using iWeb because most of the stuff you want to do that iWeb doesn't do has to be done after the site's been published and um, it has to be done every time you publish it. So this is a really easy way because you set them up here as custom queries. You have different lists and um, you can manage all of those. You can have particular files. You can have options on the files and you can mask certain things so you can add criteria like I only want the files that I changed today to be to be changed and uh, there's a whole bunch of things so there's a bit of complexity in it but it's not too bad so stick with me and I'll show you how you do it it's not hard okay but in order to do it we need to look at um, the structure of HTML because what you're going to be doing is finding something in the code of your site and replacing it with something else so let me let's say we're going to look at a, a meta tag this time but the same applies when they say to you I'll oh, put the code in for a, um, a, a counter you know one of the counter sites uh, same thing applies for um, well in fact anything I mean absolutely anything that you want to do but you need to have some understanding of HTML because you've got to figure out what it is you're going to find before you go and replace it. Do you get the idea? So you're going to find something in the file, which is just a text file, all HTML files are nothing more than text, uh, and you've got to replace it with something. Now, it's pretty simple, so stick with me here. Now, in order to have a look at this, um, which I didn't know, but I've just figured out, in order to look at this, so these are the files I've got in my site. Okay, so if you look at the pathway, you'll see it's a test site in iWeb, Insights, in web, in Dave and Oz, uh, which happens to be my my um, one of my iMac sites. Now, in order to look at this, don't just drop it onto text edit because if you do, nothing happens. You just get the page. So what you do is open up text edit, which I have open. Go to file. Go to open. Now, what you need to do with the open, you see I've already got this there, so you'll find, you'll find your site in the same old way, right? So you're looking at, um, you know, go to your site. I'll do it again just so that you know what's going on. Uh, look for web. Look for sites. Look for web, iWeb. Look at the site name that you're using. Now, what you want to do is to open this one. I'm going to open About Me HTML. But before I do that, I want to click Ignore Rich Text Commands and I want to change it to UTF-8, Unicode UTF-8. OK. Click on this file and then open it. 
and there it is in all its wonderful glory the whole HTML code that scares the bejesus out of you if you've never coded in HTML luckily I started on the net before HTML even existed so um, I've been I've sort of grown up with this not that I'm a brilliant coder I've got to say in fact I'm crap but nevertheless I have some idea of what's going on now what we need to do is to find where we're going to insert the meta tag well there's a tag for a start meta name okay generator content equals i web so that's always going to be there so you could in fact take this just take that whole bit there because that's going to be on every page that you produce an iWeb Radio. so you could take that let's say you take that copy it go back and open your Mac replace it program and you're going to say what we're going to do is I'm going to find all of those files that have all of the files I'm going to look through all the files I'm going to find that um, content and what I'm going to do is I still want that content right so I'll put it back in here and replace but now I'm going to add some more meta content with it now let's have a look at um, the, the, the structure of this you see how it's got meta name so it starts off with this odd less than sign Oh God, I love red wine. Um, it's the evening here, 6.29 p.m. And, uh, okay, so it's all right for me to drink. And anyway, South Australia, which is where I live, is a big wine-producing state. And you should go out and buy South Australian wine because it is some of the best in the world. Okay, uh, so we've got meta name equals and then generator. That's the, the meta name equals generator content blah 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 and then you've got this backslash and the same greater than sign there okay so it starts with a small less than sign then finishes with a slash a backslash greater than sign so what we really need to do is let's I'm just gonna do it on this file because um, that allows me to do it let's have a look let's do one of these um, let's do something easy Okay, this jumps around a bit. It's because I'm pausing it to have a look at things. Um, okay, so let's try this example here. Meta name equals description. Content equals citrus fruit wholesaler. There we are. There's a tag. You, you can learn about the tags on the net quite easily. Um, I'm going to insert that in here. Right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm saying this one says meta name generator. This one says meta name description. Content equals citrus fruit wholesaler. Do you get the idea? Now what I want to do is to put this in there as well. So what's going to happen is the search, the um, Mac uh, the uh, mass replace it is going to come along. It's going to see this bit here and it's going to replace it with this bit here for every file every file that it finds that top bit in right which will be every file because they're all produced like that okay so we'll go back to Mac replace it and uh, we're going to go to the end of that because that's already got there and we'll put we'll uh, put it in so basically what you're doing probably the easiest way to do it is to to say let's just copy this Okay, this whole bit here. <laughs> this is me. And what you've got to do is uh, go to the second bit. Okay, can you cope with that? Because it was too long for YouTube. Okay, catch you soon.